Welcome to the Electoral Commission of Queensland's webinar on voting methods in the 2024 local government elections. The following types of voting will be available to electors. Ordinary in-person voting, ordinary in-person absent voting, declaration in-person voting, postal voting, electronically assisted voting or telephone voting, and mobile polling in declared institutions. Ordinary in-person voting will be offered at early voting centres from 9am Monday the 4th of March until 6pm Friday the 15th of March. It should be noted in some councils the opening period will vary. Please check the Electoral Commission of Queensland's website for opening times and dates for your council. Additionally, ordinary in-person voting will be available on Election Day, Saturday the 16th of March 2024, from 8am until 6pm. Electors living in divided councils are able to vote at any polling place within their council area. If the elector is enrolled and votes in a polling place within the council but outside their division or ward, they will be able to have an ordinary in-person absent vote. Declaration in-person voting will be available to those persons who can't be found on the voters roll at a polling place. Postal voting. There are no special qualifications for voting by post. All electors are entitled to apply for a postal vote. Applications for a postal vote will be available from the notice of the election on Monday the 29th of January 2024 until 7pm on Monday the 4th of March 2024. Electors seeking to apply for a postal vote can do so through the Electoral Commission of Queensland's website at www.ecq.qld.gov.au or by calling 1300 881 665. Postal votes will be dispatched from ECQ after nominations close and the ballot paper draw is conducted on the 14th of February 2024. It should be noted that 15 councils will have their election conducted as a full postal ballot, with two further councils having only part of the council area conducted as a full postal ballot. Enrolled electors in these areas need not apply for a postal vote. Instead, ECQ will send their postal vote material automatically once the nominations close and the ballot draw is conducted on Wednesday the 14th of February 2024. The Electoral Commission of Queensland's website will provide a list of the affected councils. Electronically assisted voting or telephone voting will be available to those electors who qualify. The qualifications for telephone voting will be published on the Electoral Commission of Queensland's website. Registration will commence at 9am on Monday the 4th of March 2024 and close at 12pm noon on Saturday the 16th of March 2024. Voting for the electors who qualify and have registered will open from 9am on Monday the 4th of March 2024 and close on election day at 6 p.m. on Saturday, the 16th of March, 2024. Declared institutions are aged care facilities registered with the Electoral Commission of Queensland that election staff will visit to take votes from residents. Declared institution voting will commence on Tuesday, the 5th of March, 2024, and close at 6 p.m. on election day, Saturday, the 16th of March, 2024. The returning officer will establish a timetable of times and dates that they will visit these establishments that have registered with the Electoral Commission of Queensland. Candidates will be advised of the visiting schedule by the returning officer. Candidates are reminded that their appointed scrutineers may attend the visit and when they do they are unable to wear any election paraphernalia, hand out how to vote cards, canvas for votes, touch ballot papers, or carry ballot boxes. Voting methods. For more information about voting methods in the 2024 local government election, 
you can visit the Electoral Commission of Queensland's website at www.ecq.qld.gov.au. You can consult the Local Government Electoral Act 2011 at www.legislation.qld.gov.au. You can contact the Electoral Commission of Queensland directly via email at ecq at ecq.qld.gov.au or by telephone by calling 1300 881 665. The Electoral Commission of Queensland provides general advice only. Should you be in any doubt regarding your obligations, please seek independent legal advice. Thank you for your attention during this webinar.